Hello everyone, welcome back to the Vengeful Empire. Today we're doing uh, the Red Reaper, and um, I think we're all here. Let's let's check before I screw something up. Yeah, it looks like we're all here. YOLO. So we're on our uh, level 36 tank, who uh, looks like he's rather squishy. I uh, feel bad for the healer already. You're gonna have to do a good job of keeping me alive. It's not not much I can do about my squishiness right now, though. On the bright side, I got some nice DPS, so. And we actually have a healer. That is also good. And we have some uh, DPS as well. The uh, last flush point I did, it was like two tanks and uh, like some level like 17 DPS guys. We really weren't all that great. But this should be a little bit better. Hopefully it won't take us like 10 years to get through this either. Alright, there we are. Looks like we're getting some uh, nice XP as well with this. And, uh, it's actually been quite a while since I've done this flashpoint, so gotta kinda remember where to go. I don't think there's a bonus mission, so. I, or at least right now. I'm sure there is somewhere in the flashpoint. Alright, I see they have one back there, but I'm uh, not too concerned about it. I do see this guy using a cooldown though, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop my taunt, just in case he uh, needs a little bit of help. Ooh, rip. I think I got a little far away from the healer there, that was kind of a bit of my bad. We had aggroed quite a few people there as well. But yeah, as a tank, uh, especially in PvE, you really kind of got to keep everyone on you because as a healer, it's a real pain to have to switch between healing the DPS and healing the tank and trying to figure out who needs healing and stuff. So, kind of don't want to mess up too much as a tank. It can be a little frustrating for everyone. Eh, look, level 37. Even though we're dead. Does this guy know they are standing in the fire? They had, uh, like, eight stacks there. Alright, well, that's alright. Thank you. Can, uh, do one of those things. And heal up a little bit. And, let's see, he went back to the start, huh? We'll throw our guard on him when he gets back. Though actually, I might throw it on this guy, because he's doing a lot of AoE. Alright, looks like a pretty standard group here. We'll wait for everyone to catch up, though, so that we can all use the elevator. I like how his uh, cannon kind of matches his body armor. He's just gray. He's a gray blob. I guess he's not really a blob, but, you know, it's a bit scarier. How about that lightsaber, though? Alright, everyone's up here. Let's go. No time to spare. They're gonna move. He's ready. This person's ready. Alright, there we go. And let's see how long before we start getting healed. Can we use a Warzone medic pack in here? No. Purifier as well. Somebody cc them. And then they got smashed. So we lost two of us. Oh, we lost the healer. That's uh, problematic. How about this guy over there, though? Doing, doing quite a lot of work. Is, yeah, oh, he's not even losing any health at all. I guess he is a 65. And in some uh, pretty decent gear. 
This is probably annoying for him, having everyone die. But oh well. Why this guy keeps going back to the start point? I don't know. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, he's gonna go retrieve the other guy, it looks like. I didn't think this would, uh, be a problematic run. Though I guess we aren't wiping, it's just... Uh, <laughs> we can revive you. He's not gonna see that now that everyone rolled on that, but... Oh, well. Where even are we on the big map? I think we're anywhere. Alright, uh, let's give it to the commando again, because this guy's, uh, in some good gear. I think he'll be okay without it. Mm, actually, on second thought, this guy's dying, like, left and right. We'll give it to him when he gets up here. Mm. Come on, man. Looking in the distance, like... And say no worries. It's not like I'm a level 37 with a legacy level 2 or anything. Uh, ah, so he's not actually healer. That, that explains a little bit. Ooh, we got some new one. That's fancy. And here we are. Yeah, we'll go ahead and guard this guy if he's a newer fellow. I don't think he's going to pull much aggro, but... And... Alright, well, we're going to just take that as everyone is ready. I forgot you cannot leap to this guy. I would like to point out, though, that while that guy is, uh, uh, admittedly a new player, I'm very, uh, impressed that he, while he, uh, was cute as a healer, he stuck to that. Most people will just be like, oh, you know, I'm a DPS, and then it says I'm a healer, but you know what, I'm just gonna be DPS anyway. So, shout out to him for actually trying to stick to what he cute as. Alright, what, what, what are we doing here? Just interrupting him? Alright. Where's that saber throw, though? I just got saber throw. One of my favorite abilities in the game, for sure. Alright, and... I don't think we're going to need any help here. Or any cooldowns, is what I mean. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do during this, like, red box. I know traditionally as a tank, you just kind of keep them, them away from everyone else, but it's not like the other people are melee, so, or the other people are, so keeping him away doesn't really do anyone any good. And the ranged people know what they're doing by staying out, so. Yeah, we'll go ahead and guard him while he's taking the damage. Just to, just to show him we care about him, you know? And then I will switch to him. I could be taunting him, but I don't feel it's too necessary. Saber throw. Alright, there we go. And you get the achievement. That awkward moment when you're the only one to, in the group to get it as well. That's fine. There was a one time when I was doing a story mode flashpoint, or a story mode operation, and I had all the hard mode achievements, but I had never done it story mode, and I kept getting story mode achievements, and I was running with my hard mode group just for fun, and it was kind of funny. Alright, I'll go right. Alright, we're going to taunt this guy, and move over to him. Having said, I almost wanna don't want to do my job too well. I don't want to tank on everyone because I'm just going to die. And it's not like everyone else is not too well off as far as uh, cooldowns and tankiness go. Alright. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and let this guy get a little closer, I think. And then we can just kind of force choke him and take him separately. Thanks for the CC, but wasn't necessary. Better safe than sorry, though. Alright, and we can top our health off there just to be sure. And looks like everyone's ready, so we're going to go for it. And we're going to hold off on our uh, AoE taunt. We're, we're keeping an eye on everyone's health. We kind of know what's up. Yeah, just kind of letting that other guy take some damage for us. And throw the four stroke there just, to, just for good measure. I did just realize that I'm using a white lightsaber. And maybe I don't look like the new player I thought I was. But that's alright. Maybe I just joined the game and uh, went and bought a bunch of cool stuff. You never know. Nice. VIP elevator rides. Who doesn't like them? Um, are we going to go anywhere? Ah, there we go. Alrighty. And I've actually never been up here. Ah. Uh, I guess we just skipped one little room. Or one little section. Alright, that's neat. Uh, this guy is not following that. We might, might want to make sure he makes it. We gotta go this way. Don't try and run around. Come on. Yep, yeah, back. There we are. And then we can just run on up here by the looks of it. And sneaky sneaky. Hopefully everyone makes it. Alrighty. And there's a boss up here I believe. Yeah. First one up wins. Ah, oh, he beat me. Okay, so let's see. There are like these guys over here. Do we have to take care of them? It's been a while since I've done this one. Yeah, it looks like we're going to, so. It's alright. There's a bunch of like normal people. You just want to be careful not to get too close to the boss. But I think up here we're plenty far away. Um, nope. That's alright, we can just grab one of these and top everyone off. And we'll go ahead and place them away from everyone as a courtesy. Yeah, I don't know what blue beam does, but obviously not too much, huh? And we'll go ahead and keep them on us. Just practice some good tanking while, while, while our health is up. Maybe he has an aggro dump or something. Or he dumps my aggro. I'm not too sure. Seems like every time after blue beam he uh, turns around. Keep forgetting about this neat little ability back here that generates a bunch of rage for me. I try and remember to use that. All in all, though, this is a surprisingly easy boss with our uh, group composition. Yep, he went down in no time at all. And we don't need anything to put on. We, uh. I wonder what Sith Power Source does. Hmm. I feel like those are there for a reason, but I don't know. Alright, uh, everyone's ready. It's not like you really need to make sure everyone's ready for a 
couple of strongs, but it's, you know, courteous, so you might as well. And we missed something. That's awkward. Right, there we go. I want to get intercede already so I can uh, jump to and from people. Not sure what it's called on the uh, Republic side, but I know for Juggernauts it's intercede. And rip. That's fine though, no worries. Extra experience, am I right? And just gonna use our uh, force choke there to generate some uh, rage or focus or yeah focus Gotta convert my imperial vocabulary to a republic one when playing on this guy So yeah, I know this is Aegis Assault, this one's Crushing Blow, that one's Force Scream uh, That one's Ravage You know, I just, I just uh know the abilities, not really their names on the Republic side, I just know what they do, you know? Alright, looks like we're uh, gonna take these guys, and he was CC'd, but that's fine. It's not like it's a big deal. Shaq here might want to guard, though. No problemo. No, I was actually hoping he was a real droid so I could sell some stuff. Yeah, Alright, he dropped really quickly. Do I have force stroke, I think? Or force push. Yeah, I do. Neat, I forgot about that. Should use that in BVP. Alright. Onwards. And we might as well just interrupt that, because why not? If he's going to sit there casting it in front of us for so long, then... Uh, who's left? I see. Alright then. That that is a conversation, so we'll go ahead and uh, listen to it. He has some nice armor. So they preserved a bunch of Sith, basically, but they're you know helpless. So. So let's see what are our options. Leave it release them or terminate them I'm gonna leave it I'm not about to set them free but this is a light side character so we're, we'll uh, let them sleep in peace looks like uh, the rest of the group tended to agree with me there at least on the light side portion and I think the final boss is just right over here so we are almost there uh, I don't remember. I think we do have to kill this group. And this person is a healer, so we'll just kind of keep their healing to a minimum. Alright. Heal, heal, heal. And moving on. Alright, so it's the uh, disciples, I believe, that heal the uh, others. And we'll wait for Gearbox to catch up. There we go. I also keep forgetting about Saber Throw. Though, at least that one I have an excuse because I just got it. And Force Choke to interrupt that heal. 
And that guy over there has them covered, so. Oh, I thought I'd get the force push off the uh, ledge there. Alright, we gotta taunt that person. And he has everything taken care of. I doubt he needed to use his cooldown. And our force push has another 40 seconds on it, so. Oh, he had the same idea, though. Alright then. And we're about to hit level 38. Sounds good. Everyone's ready. Saber throw this time. And then we'll do that. And we're gonna keep an eye on everyone else's health here. Yeah, right, let's uh, taunt him. This guy's not quite as tanky as the Juggernaut was. Alright, let's go for the force push. Nice. There we are. We're missing one. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. He did not see him back here. There we are. Moving along. And I think we just take a ride up here, it looks like. Wait for everyone to kind of catch up. And we have two strongs this guy's this time, so. But we might get away with another force push. If it wasn't on cooldown. And I know I just let the rest of the group go ham back there on uh, my teammates, but I'm, I'm keeping an eye on their health, and it's not too much of a concern, so. Yeah, there we are. Alright, this one, we gotta be careful not to get knocked off the bridge. I do remember this hap or that happening. And it's a long walk back, so... Everyone ready? Alright, then. Let me get around on the other side. And push one. That's all I can do. And these guys we will go ahead and bring over here to get pushed off by the rest of the group. Maybe. There's one. Alright, and we could just push him off. I'll bring him onto the bridge. Hopefully without getting knocked off myself. I guess everyone's uh, force push is on cooldown, so... We'll just do that. And congrats on the level. Is that level 50 or legacy level? Not sure. But whatever it was, congratulations. Alright, and last guy. Are we all in here? No, we're still missing one. Alright, let's do it. This guy I remember for the most part. I know he uh, spawned some other people and then we gotta like interrupt or uh, something like that. I think it's an interrupt. To just like break their shields. It's no big deal. Alright. So he's uh, summoned this person, and we got to run them through the lightning or something. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Because that would be a lot of health to burn through otherwise. And ta-da. Yeah, we might as well fight him up here, that works. Go ahead and uh, 
Hit him with the force choke just to uh, generate some rage. And I don't know what this does. I think we gotta go grab these. And anyway, I'm getting a lot of XP. Yeah, there we are. And did it just in time. Um, 100% increased damage. All right, so we want to keep them on ourselves. Though my taunts don't seem to be working, so we must uh, have a random aggro table there in this point. And something about an assist being around here. And just do that. Problem solved. And we got one more over here. Congrats on the level gearbox. And leap. And ta da! What did he hit? 49, he's so close. Alright then, back to business. Uh, he's almost down, so I think we might just burn him from here. Yep, we got him. And level 39! And a couple of achievements. Clear all the bosses and clear that one. And what do we get? We'll look later. 140, someone got an island or something. 208. Alright, and thank you, and thank you. And if we return to this, we get another 55,000. Got some pants, some pretty good ones too. Item rating 106 compared to my current item rating 86. Thank you. And uh, my 86 is somewhat recent. Level 34 mods vendor, so it's a good upgrade for level 33. I'm probably going to go ahead and pass on them though because I don't particularly care about the stats at my level. Just because I level so fast anyway and everything's not too difficult and there's usually a bolster for me so there we are and turn that in hope you guys all enjoyed and i'll see you next time